So next we're going to take a look at the intersection of two planes. Now, when you think of the intersection of two planes, you want to think about every point that those two planes have in common. If we take a look at this figure, you could see that these two planes intersect in lots of places. In fact, we could keep doing this forever. They intersect in an infinite number of places. If we took all those points at the intersection and we put them all together, they would form a line. A lot of people, when asked to describe the intersection of these two planes, they would answer a segment because visually the intersection seems to stop here and here. However, these are only representations of planes. We know that planes go infinitely in, in all directions. Um, and so their intersection would continue infinitely I in both directions as well. There's a couple unique scenarios that you want to watch out for. Here you see three planes that are parallel to each other. So if three planes are parallel to each other, they're not going to intersect at all. Another unique scenario would be when one plane is literally lying exactly on top of another plane so that they're occupying the same space at the same time. And you would describe the intersection of those two planes as a plane because they have points here, 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 and everywhere in common, and that would end up being a plane. Most of the time, however, when two planes intersect, like in the case of uh, this wall and this other wall, their intersection is going to be a line.